Hello everyone, and welcome to another Kinetic Type tutorial. Today we are creating a super stylish sliced moving type animation. It's fast, easy, and guaranteed to look amazing. Let's get started. First, let's set up the composition. I'm calling mine Kinetic Type, setting it to 1080 by 1080 with a frame rate of 30 FPS and a duration of 5 seconds. Once that's set, just press OK, and we're good to go. Now let's create a background. Right click over the timeline, go to New, and select Solid. Name it Background, set it to Black, and check Make Comp Size, and hit OK, and you've got a clean base to work with. Now it's time to work on the text. Grab the Type tool from the top toolbar, and type something bold and eye-catching. Make sure it's big enough to really stand out. Once you're happy with your text, use the Align tool to center it in the composition. Now let's give this some motion. With your text layer selected, open the Position property and add a keyframe. Move the text down, so it starts just outside the composition. Next, move the timeline to 1 second and bring the text to the center of the composition using the Align tool. Copy this keyframe and paste it at 2 seconds and 15 frames to hold the position for a bit. Finally, move to 3 seconds and 15 frames and shift the text up until it's out of the frame again. That's all the movement we need. Select all the keyframes, open the graph editor and adjust the curves to add some flair and smoothness to the motion. Nice work so far, let's take it to the next level by adding effects. Start by creating an adjustment layer. Right click over the timeline, go to new and select adjustment layer. With the adjustment layer selected, head to effects, then time and choose time displacement. This effect is super cool, it uses a grayscale map to control how time is shifted. Bright areas move forward in time, while darker areas move backward. Now we need a displacement map. Right click on the timeline, create a new solid and name it displacement map. Make it comp size and press OK. Now we need to add a black and white gradient, select the solid, go to effects, then generate and choose gradient ramp. Since we are going for vertical distortion, set the start of the ramp to 0 by 540 and the end of the ramp to 1080 by 540. Here's a pro tip, change the white in the gradient to a light grey. Why? Because pure white creates the strongest displacement and toning it down gives us more control and subtlety. To finish the map, let's stylize it a bit. Go to Effects, then Stylize, and select Posterize. This effect breaks the gradient into clean steps, creating the sliced, segmented look we're aiming for. Set the levels to 20, but feel free to adjust this later to get the exact vibe you want. Now let's pre-compose the displacement map. Right-click on the solid. Select Pre-compose, give it a name, and press OK. Pre-composing ensures the time displacement effect reads the map correctly, and applies the time shifts without any interference. Go back to the adjustment layer, and in the time displacement settings, select your new precomp as the map layer. Preview the animation, and you'll see how the type now moves in distorted slices. It's such a cool effect, right? But we're not done yet, let's bring everything together. Select all the layers except the background, right click, and precompose them into one comp. Name it something like kinetic motion, and press OK. For the final touches, let's add two more effects. First, go to Effects, then Distort, and choose CC Slant. This lets you skew the animation, adding angular motion for a dynamic, edgy feel. Set the slant to around 30, but tweak it until you're happy with the look. Next, go back to Effects, select Time, and choose Echo. Echo adds motion trails, giving the animation a smooth, flowing effect. Set the number of echoes to 16, the decay to 0.5, and change the Echo operator to Composite in Back. Give it one last preview, and that's it. You've just created a stunning, sliced, moving type animation with dynamic motion and stylish effects. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, please consider supporting me on my Buy Me A Coffee page. As I said before, for just $1, you get access to this working file from this tutorial and many others, including scripts that will improve your workflow dramatically. So yeah, it's a good deal, trust me. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, a great life, and I'll see you in the next one.